The biggest risk by far was definitely leaving my full-time job. Well, the next step after that was going on Craigslist and offer up and literally buying any and every used 3D printer I could get within a 10 mile radius. It was like a madhouse. So it's like, I have this product going that's doing awesome for me. I create videos on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. And honestly, in my mind, it doesn't really matter if you have a great product if nobody knows about it. So I kind of think from like a marketer's perspective first, and if I can think of how to present something, then coming up with the product is kind of easy. What's going on? My name is Ashamad. I'm the head of Nod X and the creator of the Curve Band. And this is my hustle. The story behind the Curve Band originally, there was a trend on TikTok of how people curve their fitted hats. And I kind of jumped on that trend. And in my head, the first thing I thought was if I could come up with like a proper product where the sole purpose was to curve your hat, I knew that'd be like a corner of the market that would instantly take off. Initially, it was like, oh, awesome. Like we need that to curve our hats. We love hats. But I knew I needed to take it a step further than that to really get it out there and get people excited about it. I made it change colors with heat. And it was like a match made in heaven. That when people use a steamer on their bill, it would change colors. And for whatever reason, that really got people excited. And I think that was like the spark that really lit it all. There's two wings on each side. You put it on each side of your bill. And with the help of a steamer, if you can, you add a little bit of moisture to the bill with that. And you're literally just gonna slide this on both sides. Leave it on there anywhere from a couple minutes to overnight, depending on how tight you want your curve to be. And it's gonna give you the perfect curve on your hat every single time. So growing up, I was not the best student on paper. It wasn't that I lacked ability. I think my biggest struggle was keeping my mind from wondering. I've always been a creative person, but it took me until I was 23 to figure out exactly how to execute my ideas. The biggest risk by far was definitely leaving my full-time job. I was a manager in a retail store, had benefits, and I really was just in a weird crossroad of like, when do I take this risk? And I always said that if I make as much money doing my business and social stuff as I make at work, I would leave my job. Eventually I took the leap of faith and I'm so glad I did it, but I don't regret any time there. A lot of what I learned working retail definitely relates to what I'm doing now. So it all started in March of 2022. That was the day where I kind of solidified my product itself. Prior to that, I had maybe 30 or so different renditions of how it could look or would work. Posted it up to TikTok, took off. In that first day, I wanna say within a couple hours, I had over a hundred orders. And at the time I only had one 3D printer. So the next step after that was going on Craigslist and offer up and literally buying any and every used 3D printer I could get within a 10 mile radius. And I just remember watching the Shopify orders come in and like freaking out. It was like a madhouse. 24 seven, these machines were running, but I dropped them in specific colorways that were like really closely tied to themes. And so it turned into like a collector's item. And as much as I wanted it to be a utility, I mean, I, in this room, like they're just sprinkled around, like it, it's like a rug or like a, a coaster or something, like it's part of the ambiance. And I think that was such like a vital piece of the puzzle. The biggest step or the biggest factor I'd have to attribute it to is the fact that I just never quit. One quote or like sound bite that really sticks out to me that I carry with me every day was, I'll never forget it was a Nipsey Hussle interview. And they asked him like, Nipsey, like what makes you different? What makes you who you are? How are you able to achieve all these things? And in the most soft-spoken way, it was like, I'm not gonna lie and, and, and portray um, this ultimate poise. Like I've been, had it figured out. No, I just didn't quit. That's the only distinguishing quality. He went through fails, losses, wins. He never quit. Whether it was overselling product that I couldn't make, and having to respond to hundreds of emails to pissed off customers not getting their order, or whether it was going through 20 to 30 different versions of the product, or even back when I first started posting videos, I remember getting like five views and I was like, I don't care. Like eventually these are gonna get good. People can laugh at me now, but I'm gonna have the last laugh later. A typical day for me normally looks like waking up around 8 a.m. on a good day. At some point, I'm jumping on this embroidery machine back here, whether it be for a custom commission or whether it's for a video or content. I'm packaging orders from both the Curve Band and my other hats, as well as hat accessories. I stream from time to time. I think that's an awesome way to connect with my community. I make content, I film, I edit. Meetings with my agent about brand deals on the table is really where I'm at right now, just figuring out with the 16 or 12 hours a day that I have to work, how can I best serve my time? I wear a lot of hats, no pun intended, but uh, wouldn't have it any other way. My hustle to me is a mindset of not being scared to take risks and just betting on yourself. 
My biggest advice for other entrepreneurs, and honestly, I prefer the word creatives, is don't be scared to take a chance. Don't be scared of what people think. If you think something's cool, there's someone out there that confides in that. And the hardest part is just putting yourself out there and finding your community. I think that's what really what this social space is all about is community and world building. I'm just chasing that feeling every day and I think it's so awesome that I get to wake up every day and just bring as many of my dreams to life as I can and some of them take longer than others but it's just an awesome process. I'm just really in love with the process right now. Not X as a brand is bigger than just this product. This was my ticket to answering so many questions in my head of what is possible, what can I create? And I want this to be a lesson to other people, an example to others that those ideas in your head can be brought to fruition. And I think that's my biggest high right now is chasing, bringing thoughts to reality in as many different ways and verticals as I can. Thanks to everybody checking out my video. If you want to see more stories like mine, make sure to like and subscribe.